Oh great, question mark. I love these. They're my favorite. Alright, well if you're gonna pull that against me then... I'm just gonna have to pull out my best. Come forth, my coup alter. I have need of you. There we go. Team organized. Let's do this. Oh, God, no. Is this the center of the world's fair? There's a Japanese pavilion with a Japanese garden. It seems Japanese craftsmen built all of this. Even today, in 2019, this site is preserved in Jackson Park as the Osaka Garden. Foo -foo! The street light that I made using a bamboo filament from Kyoto is also displayed. DC all the way! By the way, but why is the Japanese pavilion the center? I doubt it's anything to do with Magecraft. No point wondering, we've already been through enough. Let's go! The Japanese pavilion is farther in! This is the pavilion? What a strange building. Senpai, this is... I don't know how to express it, but everything is just... wrong! Feels like everything's getting jammed together. This is a story where the where endless wandering, unnecessary repetition, and lies have all come together. Who's there? At the end of all these nonsensical discretions and drawn-out plots, you have finally managed to reach your final destination. That's right. None of you are destined to reach the third anniversary. You can't be. Oh, for fuck's sake. No way, uh, mumble mumble. That resembles Senpai? My name is I am a master from the Kialda, different than your own. From one of the many parallel worlds. That's who I am. Mommy, your mommy. Yes, Jack the Ripper, Nursery Rhyme, and all the servants you defeated. I'm the one who summoned them all. But it may be easier for Vane to understand if I say that I got them all from the gotcha. Tell me, you summoned us and created a singularity. What is your plan? Pa Bunyan, I didn't summon you. What? You're not a servant. You're just a phantom. No more than urban legend roaming about. All right, we've hit the pinnacle point. Paul Bunyan is not a real servant. She is merely a phantom given form by bullshit manners that will probably divulge itself by the end of this plot line. So, let me start with why that's bullshit. Okay, so first of all, I already had this problem when it came to Shinjuku and they're all like, oh, well, some servants aren't real. Why? You're telling me in a world where mysticism and all this weird bullshit where Jack the Ripper, Frankenstein's monster, fucking the Gorgons and other mythological creatures are fucking real that uh, a giant wolf or Paul Bunyan aren't real? Gonna call some hard bullshit there. It just feels so unnatural to say. You're telling me that one mystical creature existed but the other didn't? Yeah, because that's so likely. What makes this even more confusing is that I am not sure when it comes to Paul Bunyan, but the extra materials later contradict this. As I've stated before, literally for the uh, extra material talking about Solomon, his, uh, his noble phantasm where he gives up his rings literally say it would destroy the... Uh, it would destroy all of the demon god pillars. But obviously we can't have that because that wouldn't make for an interesting uh, plot line, now would it? But in theory, they should all be dead. But they're not, obviously. Another uh, inconsistent is the fact that Lobo is actually a servant. The giant wolf is a real creature. But according to the extra material, some people, quote, quote, don't think he's real. 
So is he real or not? This is why I find this entire section of trying to say certain characters are total bullshit or aren't, aren't real servants. They're phantoms. Why? What is the purpose of this? I mean, we can fucking summon anything from goddamn gods and creatures of old, mythological beings like, say, Asteros or the Gorgons or fucking... A character like Romulus, for God's sake, but you're telling me Paul Bunyan, a giant who chopped down trees, in fucking real. Yeah, bullshit. Alright, move on. Paul Bunyan was just a joke amongst the settlers of North America. Then some trash tabloids wrote some articles on it for shits and giggles. She has no basis in myth, and nobody actually believes in her existence. She's the very lowest form of a spiritual existence. A hazy shadow without a will. God, I can't wait until the uh, extra material comes out on Paul Bunyan and it says that she actually did exist and contradicts all of this entire plot. But then I let her possess Udon Do and gave her shape. Actually, on the topic of uh, not becoming servants or not being real people, can I also... I've said this before in Camelot, but it's still bullshit that Bedivere wasn't a servant. Bullshit? I don't know. Honestly, this is where my contention with FGO comes along. It just, it feels like they're trying to just reshape all of the lore and beat it with a hammer until it does exactly what it wants. Oh, we're not normally allowed to summon these characters, but we have a way that magically allows us to completely bypass that entirely. Oh, that thing's not actually supposed to happen, but this is different, so it's okay. Uh, that person's not a real servant until we make them a servant, then it's okay. Uh... Fucking, that person doesn't actually exist, but now they do, so I guess they got summoned. If they're not, uh, that also brings up the contention question of, if they're not phantom spirits, how the fuck do we summon them? And even before then, are you saying that characters like Saber Alter, who technically has no basis in history whatsoever, and is just a corrupted form of Altera from the Grail, how did we summon her? Because in theory, she's not actually in the Throne of Heroes. The same could also be said for Jalter, and any other corrupted, technically, Alter character like that. This is just kind of the, like, I don't mean to be super critical about this, but if you're going to have a plot line about this shit, get your fucking lore and story in to together. I know, like, it's the big joke of, hey, don't think about it, but shit, if you're going to be a writer, fucking learn how to write. I'm, I'm not a heroic spirit. Why the hell would you do that? That should be obvious. To make a welfare servant to give out for the second anniversary of FGO. What? Yeah. Don't ha me! You're a master! I know you know. See, this is exactly what I was talking about. We were all super serious here about Paul Bunyan not being a servant, and then immediately... Whiplash! Because now we're in comedy land. For free to for free to play masters like me, welfare servants are the most important servants. It's not that I don't understand. No more boring small talk. The great thing about social games like this is that anyone can enjoy playing without thinking about them or even paying attention. If you're not paying attention or you're not thinking about them, what is the point of playing the game? That reminds me of actual people that pick up, like, pretty story-driven games and go, I don't care about this story, and just play the game. It's like, you, you're missing out on, like, half the game, though. That, that doesn't make sense. I don't... I, anyways. An idyllic world where everyone is equal. To make that so, strong gold servants are necessary. That's why I used Udon Do to create Bunyan's spirit origin. My plan was to produce a giant to make the goddess who shapes the very world. I get it now. Bunyan's legend contains mankind's universal belief in a deity of creation. It's not possible to summon an actual god. <laughs> yeah, yeah, keep telling yourself that. But an artificial one, possessing godlike qualities. I see. That's me. Right. That's why I poured all my grails and QP into you. But even so, even so, what we actually got was just a wacky, useless thing. If we gave you as a welfare, Kialda would be dead. Wait. 
Eh? You called Bunyan a thing. Oh, come on. What the hell else would I call it? I mean, it's a one star. One star. You get those in the friend point, gotcha. That thing is absolutely worthless. No servant below four star is worth a damn. Spoken like every idiot I've ever had to bear witness in comments or in fucking forums. You're wrong. Senpai. Oh, big talk, huh? Trust is something the weak use to cover their weaknesses. So why is it my little eggplant turned into a five star? Strong bonds don't overcome lack of rarity. You should know that as a master. In the end, only the masters who post servants over level 90 get picked as support. They have a handful of limit broken kaleidoscopes, and they have a surplus of event CEs. A world that celebrates only the Ultra Whale Masters, where only they get all the glory and friend requests. That is what I am trying to put a stop to. Well, I mean, if you also become a uh, YouTuber of even some slight moderate success, that also helps. Listen, you. Everyone has their own way of playing. And... What matters is embers, mats, skill gems, grails, and time! Whee! Ah, your logic is... I don't even have a comeback for that! Huh, but let's chill it out a minute here. Sure, our playstyles differ. But, do you really want to give your loyalty to a development team who won't give you an MP animation skip button and die with this useless servant? So that's... Why you trap Bunyan in the singularity? Obviously, the only servants we need are beautiful female saber faces. Takaguchi, is that you? <laughs> Wrong. There's no value in something without use. Bunyan is well. She was a failure. So I wanted her to vanish into a secluded forest. But no, you had to bring her all the way here. What I want are five-star servants, or the one exception to that rule, my cutie Astafol. Now that you've come this far, I'll have to eradicate Bunyan and all of you from this world. How horrible, just horrible. Bunyan's our friend. Master, I... It'll be okay. What are you thinking of fighting me, even though we're both masters? Seriously? Hey, it's all your fault. If you guys hadn't just waltzed out here, this worthless servant would have disappeared. I see. You may be right. And yet, Paul Bunyan is right here before us. We cannot turn a blind eye to that fact. Agreed. Even if her lore was a joke in the early states, I cannot ignore that she stands before me. The only thing that must disappear is you, master from another world. Are you seriously going to fight me? Come on, take a joke. That is like a tiny prank. I mean, I also saved humanity. Don't I deserve servants that I prefer and want? Shut up, this is a bad dream. Master, that is not, master, that is not mine. I'm sorry, but this is part of our job. We will destroy your evil ruse. Oh, -ho! look who's calling, acting all big, my mighty little, my big, my little eggplant. And you're so cool, much more than usual. Not that I'm unhappy about your change, but I'm not wild about this biting the hand that feeds you crap. Fine. If you're going to defend Bunyan, I just have to fight you. I'm afraid you know too much, and now you must die. It's your prime and proper party versus my poor but beautiful party. Let's see which Kialda reigns supreme. Alright. God, I hope it's all like just two and one stars. Also, the irony of saying stars don't matter and I brought two five stars. <laughs> oh, it's literally just all the welfares we've had up to this point, isn't it? Mm. 
Oh, Bunyan. There we go. There we go. <laughs> Joke's on you. Protection from arrows. And she's a ruler. Good luck with that. Who's next? I'm trying to actually recount all the welfares we've gotten. Alright, Kentucky, Skyhawk, Santa Lily. Alright, that makes sense. Alright, well, let's get rid of one of you first. Now die. Kind of ironic I used him to kill Skayhawk. I just thought about that. <laughs> Alright, no more Kentoki. Unfortunately, no more Paul Bunyan either. Oh well. <laughs> Welcome, mighty Hassan. Unfortunately, this battle need not need your approach, as I will crush all who stand before me. <laughs> the mighty Mad King. Oh, of course, it would be fucking... Yeah. Right. No, oh, this is unfortunate. Let's try and get rid of Walter first. That'll be the most important, uh, step. Because I can defend the other's attacks, but hers has invincibility pierce. I just realized I now have a team of five stars fighting against all of us. <laughs> And unfortunately for you all, my team's better. You won't defeat me. You have no hope. And with that, you have doomed yourself. Farewell, Altera. May the gods have mercy on you. For I will not. All right, way to go, team. We did it. Yeah, 
And I completed all my uh, master missions. Bitchin'. Now, if only I needed any of those statues. I need the monuments, damn it. I guess that's what the summer rerun will be used for, though. <laughs> ah! My CB and TA teams! You've got plenty of five stars. <laughs> oh, well, yeah. Of course I have some five stars. I've been playing since launch. And yet, all my cute precious servants, you defeated them so easily. Well, they were all so underleveled. Being lazy and failing to level your servants has finally come back to bite you. Now be a good master and go back to your own world. But, in this singularity, I was able to summon to my heart's content without using any quartz. Ah, I'm awakening from my dream. Help me, Jack. Nursery. We're not gonna help, because you're not our mommy. You closed the book on your own, so it's the end for you now. The one promise you as a reader made with me, the story was to believe in me. No, oh, I, I just wanted everyone to have a laugh, and I wanted to do so many other lewd things. Yep, be gone! <laughs> ah, crap, I let the truth spill out there at the last moment. Master, you don't need to be sad about this. She was consumed by her evil ambitions. She was no longer human, or maybe she wasn't from the start. Anyway, she was not a good master. We saved a soul who was swallowed up by an evil spirit. That's how we should remember this. Thank you, Geronimo. Let's go home. There's nothing left here. I'm hungry. I want to eat Hamburg steak. Let's go home, Bunyan. Goodbye, other person who might have been another senpai. I'll try not to wonder too much why the other me wasn't here with you. Wow, that's depressing. I know that's kind of a joke, but, dude, that's kind of depressing if you think about it. Especially with her talk about all of her, like, only using five stars and shit like that. God, it's depressing. Anyways. I'm gonna take a break real quick and refill all of my, uh, my water and my soda and everything like that. So, we'll come back in just a minute. So, until next time, I'll catch you all later. Hasta.